Hi everyone, it's Mark Elliott from GolfPerformance.ca. I'm still stuck in the shallow end here and we're going to use the shallow end to, uh, to try to shallow out this golf club today, this driver especially. Um, as you can see, the sun's out, so I've got the guns out and I've drawn lines on uh, my arms here that we're going to use for reference points. Hopefully you can see them at home. To answer the obvious question, why don't I take my shirt off? The obvious answer is I don't want to break the internet people, we're going to need it. So, <clears throat> sorry about that. What I'm going to do is use these lines and I want you to think that you have lines at the top. Uh, just on the front of your arms, on your bicep, okay? If you're right-handed, once you get to the top, I want you to think that this trail arm, this right bicep, this line, is going to rotate as you turn forward. It's going to rotate a little bit behind you. The other way of saying that is your lead arm, your left arm, as you get to the top or at the top in transition, it's going to rotate slightly backward. This is internal humeral, humerus bone rotation. This is external humeral rotation. So right-handed, you're going to come to the top and do this as you turn. Here's what most people do. Most people, especially slicers, especially those who swing down on the driver, they do the opposite. They get to the top, this goes internal, that goes external. I want you to get to the top, rotate, right bicep line back as you turn. I hope that helps you. I hope the uh, tan lines haven't distracted you too much. Take care of each other. Bye for now.